Do y'all remember last year when we got this really cute Sailor Moon necklace advent calendar from Hot Topic? Well, this year we got another advent calendar. This is a 12-day jewelry set from Hot Topic, and it is now available, and we have completely different jewelry charms in this advent calendar to unbox. This is 1990, and it is currently available over on the Hot Topic website. I will put a direct link down below in case for some reason it's no longer available if you just search for it, which sometimes does happen. Now I did buy two of these because last year my problem with it was they had shipped it with all the charms backwards and I didn't catch on to this until I started unboxing it and I was like something weird is going on here. A lot of people pointed out like it looks like it's backwards, uh, which you wouldn't have known unless you knew what to expect or what charms were already in here. So that was a fun discovery. I also remember from last year's advent calendar, I wasn't super thrilled with the charms, especially because I unboxed another one from Ghibli. It was a Ghibli charm co collection also available from Hot Topic. That one I felt like they put in a lot more detail work to all the little charms that you could put on the necklace, while the Sailor Moon one felt kind of cheap. I do have all of the charms out on this charm necklace, just kind of hanging out all together so you can see them all side by side. Of course, my favorite one was this really big moon with all the little gemstones in it. I thought that one was really pretty, but the rest of them were pretty basic, like just gold. There was no paint done with them. Even the planetary symbols have this little gemstone, but otherwise they're just simple gold. It just felt very simplistic. This is a very inexpensive advent calendar too, so there's that. But let's go ahead and unbox this year's advent calendar and compare it to last year's, see if it's any better, and I'll go through each and every day. So here's the advent calendar, the front side of it. Of course, this year we have my favorite, the Crystal Star Compact. We also have a whole bunch of holographic planetary symbols, the Sailor Moon logo, and 12-day jewelry set at the bottom. There's a holographic logo on the back as well, and this is by sg at nyc Dot com. This has a magnetic closure, which makes it very easy to open it. On the interior, we get this really beautiful print of Sailor Moon and the Inner Guardians. This looks really good. I really like this print. I think the color quality looks great. It's very clear. The line work is done really well. So yeah, great print quality on this box this year. And then here we have the numbers. I'm going to pop these open and let you know how easy it is to open them. So let's find out with number one. Yep. Still hard to open. Okay, so they're still hard to open. How do you get that open? Okay, I know why it's hard to open because the, the porphyrated line, the cut line does not go all the way to the end. There's a pretty long solid section at the closure for each of the doors. So you really have to tear at it and you're going to end up tearing your box quite a bit. So if you do want to store this, if you want to keep it pretty nice, then I would suggest opening it from the top up here. You can just slide a knife under there and cut it open so that you don't have to deal with each of the numbered doors. And actually, just so I can see how this looks, yeah, you really have to press down on the top and the bottom to get that door to fold open. Where's day one's charm? I don't see it on there. Is it actually on the piece of jewelry? Is it on the chain? Is this it? Maybe that's it. You know what? I think I'm just gonna open it from the top so y'all don't have to deal with my questioning of each of these days. <laughs> there. It looks like they did not upgrade the actual style of the box, the manufacturing of the box. So it looks like they used a very, very similar process when they printed this with the perforations. So yeah, it's still definitely hard to open. Uh, if you just want to get access to all the jewelry and you don't want to waste your time through each of these different numbers, then yeah, just close it up, cut open the top of it, and pull out the back piece. There we go. Oh, I see, I see. Okay, so day one actually has the charm already installed on, what is this, a necklace? I actually think it's a bracelet. It is a bracelet. Okay, so we have a bracelet this time. Very nice, all right. Pretty cool. Oh, okay. So I'm already much happier with this year's items than I was last year's items. We get a little bit more bling this year. There's some more sparkle. I already see it and I'm much happier. Okay, so here we have day one, which is the Crystal Star Compact. This one has a really pretty pink, paint or pink enamel coat 
behind the star and it, there's a whole bunch of very pretty glitter in there too, some kind of bluish glitter. We also have gemstones for each of the Sailor Guardians printed in there. That's very pretty. That's cute. I really like that. That's lovely. A very, very pretty little charm. Then we have, I'm just gonna rip these off. Hmm, something seems odd here. Why do I have two Sailor Mars charms? Why, why? Somebody explain this to me, please. Okay, now I'm glad I bought two of these boxes so that I can look at the other one and see if that one also came with two Sailor Mars charms because that's, something's fishy here. That seems weird. That seems very weird to me. They're both exactly the same. That's so odd. Uh, okay. Well, that aside, let's look at the other planetary symbols. I feel kind of cheated if they gave me two of the same charm. That's kind of annoying. Okay, so here we have Sailor Jupiter, Sailor Mercury, and Sailor Venus. And each of these has a lot of bling going into them, which I very much appreciate. They do have different size gemstones for each of these. Sailor Jupiter has slightly bigger green gemstones while Mercury and Venus have smaller ones, but they do feature each of their different planetary colors, which is very pretty. This one is probably my favorite. I really, really, really like this one. This is so cute. So here we have the bunny on the moon insignia. This one is very adorable and it's kind of hard to tell in my camera, but this is actually a holographic or a pearlescent white paint as opposed to just a simple white paint. So that's a pearlescent color on there. That's really pretty. This time key is also very adorable. It's very detailed. We have all the little notches going in there. We have a teeny tiny little gemstones, a pink one and a red one. So good detail, really appreciate that one too. Now this one's pretty unique. We got a Black Moon Clan, the Black upside down moon. And this one also has some little gemstones in it. So we can definitely tell which season we are getting a whole bunch of inspiration from in terms of these cute little charms. This is probably the most basic of all the charms in here, but it's still pretty nice. It's large. We have this beautiful silhouette of Sailor Moon with the crescent moon behind her. Also a little detail I appreciate is the fact that they changed the color for the black moon clasp. So this one is black and matches the moon. I like that they did that. It's a nice little detail. And then we have, of course, Luna and Artemis. With Luna's, we also have the change in colors. We got the different color for hers. Uh, her crescent moon is slightly raised. It looks like for some some reason that's quite a big piece right here for this crescent moon that's sticking out. Um, it's I, I have a feeling it's gonna break off. That thing is sticking out pretty far right there. And then with the Artemis one, it's much more flat. This one does not stick out. It's it's not raised like it is on the Luna one. That's kind of strange. But both of them are very blingy and very, very pretty. So here's all the charms together. You could definitely create your own charm bracelet which I love. I think that's such a unique and cute idea. That's so adorable. Uh, we don't really have like a lot of charm bracelets in terms of Sailor Moon, especially not a licensed one. So this is such a cute idea. It's really cute. But given that I saw a couple of flaws, I got the raised crescent moon on Luna right here and I had the second Sailor Mars charm, which is very, very odd. That's weird, makes me feel a little cheated there. I'm gonna open the second one and see if I got the same charms or see if I had different ones. So to try to keep this box in the best condition possible, I'm actually ungluing this edge here and opening it that way. <laughs> but it seems to be working pretty well, so I'm just gonna do that. Oh, oh what? Oh my gosh, did, did I get cheated in both of these? Hold up, oh wait, there it is. Okay, I did not get cheated in both of them. <laughs> okay, these are, <laughs> They really need to up the quality of these advent calendars. I'm, they're not so, they're not very impressive. Each of these has had flaws. So glad I decided to open these on camera so you would see that. Both of them has had flaws. Okay, so on this one, the first three charms are exactly the same. The second line is exactly the same. Now this one fell off, the, Ven the Venus one fell off and it was sticking to the sticky tape on the back of this this piece of cardboard. So if you feel like you're missing one, you might wanna open up the box and check because mine was sticking to the back of that. So I did get a Venus one there. Now the one that was missing from my first box is right here. And now I definitely feel cheated because that one's gorgeous. What the heck? What the heck in heck? So let's take a look at this last 
charm that's supposed to come in the advent calendar. So this is the last charm and this one features, it looks like three different really pretty silvery white colored gemstones. And then we have a pink one on this textured moon. That's also very pretty. I would totally choose this one over the Sailor Mars charm. And here they gave me a Sailor Mars extra shoot it looks like all the other charms are exactly the same oh the other thing i wanted to check was luna oh look at that so this one is kind of raised too that's so odd both of those are raised interesting i wonder if that has to do with how they made it like the gemstones on this one maybe it's just raised higher or something i don't know but both of the artemis ones are definitely shorter so there you have it that is this year's sailor moon hot topic advent calendar it is a 12 day calendar it's not a full 24 25. i do think this one is cuter i like the increase in quality that we got from this year's charms however it seems like there's a lack of qc when it comes to putting these charms in these boxes and shipping these out to customers with the first one i got the two sailor mars charms with the second one my venus one had popped off and was sticking to the back of the case so there's definitely a lack of quality when it comes to the unboxing experience and you might get a duplicate charm like I did. Let me know if you experienced any kind of similar complications or problems with your own advent calendars. Um, not super impressed. Wish we could get something a little bit more high quality. I would actually pay more to get better advent calendars that were licensed in our Sailor Moon. They're not doing it for me so far, so I would like to see something better. But that's that's what you're here for. You're here for the honesty, you're here for the transparency, you're here for the actual reviews, and that's what I'm here for. Let me know if you have any questions or comments. Again, let me know if you experience the same with your own advent calendars. I would love to know if I'm just an odd man out over here. But in the meantime, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you being here. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you next time. Jenny.